Herbert. That is caught. And yeah, he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. That's a third down. And right now they're probably asking, hey, who did we offend in the scheduling office back-to-back -back road games to start the season? Yeah, that's a great question. I'll bet someone called the league office to protest, but sometimes it just shifts out that way. But they can get out of this with a split. Knowing they'll get those home games later in the season, it could be quite an advantage for them for the two-yard line. A shotgun snap for Herbert. And this is caught. He's got a touchdown, L.A. Gerald Everett. His first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Chargers get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt and then you Second and six. To throw is Tannehill. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first. It comes now a third down. And right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. This will be caught at about the five. And it's a Titans touchdown. Chris Moore from 13 yards out. And the Titans are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. After back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach can you hang 35 range all time in the NFL in terms of number of catches. One significant guy in that number, Shannon Sharp, who was a tight end. That's big time. And yes, they were rewarded with a tasty dish, stuffing that one short of a first. But how about this, a fake? And this is incomplete. They moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that game. And that's going to be good for a Chargers first down as the tackle made it about the... Herbert on third down now. They'll get this out wide to Eckler. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading. Off the play fake to Eckler, it's Herbert. He's got this to Williams complete. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. A gain of 32 that time. That is catch number 300 now for his NFL career. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head into the 32. Now a play fake, and it's Tannehill. And it'll be complete to a Acapulco. And they hit situation. They snap it to Tannehill. He's going to throw one up for the end zone. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete. But the contact is going to move the ball well down. It's going to be an untimed play as well. Now the half will end after this one, unless there's another, there's another defensive one. penalty. Badgley able to punch this one through. And that will do it for a nice one. steady game. On third down, here's Eckler. Just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Give him 15 yards on that one. Okay, Scott now on, we think, to punt, though he's faked it earlier, but he was unsuccessful. That'll be out of bounds, and how good was that? Tannehill. Over the middle, into the hands of Burks. And brought down, but not before they're able to get it up to the 25. It'll be a gain of six. Tannehill. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Hopkins. That's a first down. Play action. It's Tannehill. And brought in downfield by Burks. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 40 foot. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Back to throw, Tannehill. And oh, that's going to wind up incomplete. Nearly their first pick in. Now Tannehill. 
And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. An 11-yard pickup for the Titans. On the option, here's Spears. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. 18 yards there to go first and goal. Here's Tannehill. Dancing to his left. Oh, no, he lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. Well, offensively lucky there, able to keep the football. To go on to the field and try and hold. Instead, they get a little breathing room. Badgley's kick is good. And they will take the lead at 13 to 10. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead. On that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carry before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 72 yards on the ground for Eckler here, and that's on six. Out of the gun, a give to Spiller. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. Give him 12 yards there, and the charge providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. 15 more there. And they running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed him down on that run, can they continue to do so? Because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10. And mark him. Eckler now between the tackles. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Austin Eckler, his first rushing touchdown of the year. And the Chargers have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. Sometimes you get a first and goal and you're back near the 7, 8, 9 yard line and you start thinking, Maybe we'll run it here on first down to get half of what we need, so maybe we can have converted five times in their many chances thus far. This is third and nine. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. Khalil Mack. And here comes throw number one for the backup QB. Into space at the 45. And finally brought down right at the midfield stripe. 23 yards on the play. Giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. it. I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching in Atlanta, our apologies. Now look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked up by Sean Murphy Bunting. And the Titans are right back in this football game. When the rookie QB gets his first touchdown pass, that's one you put in the trophy case. First career interception, that's going to be one he wants to forget. Yeah, and he's not going to go ask for the football, right? No. Yeah, you can keep that. After the interception, here's Tannehill. Got his man, a call throw. And they'll get this well past midfield and slot for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there. Not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team who watch too. Uh, this afternoon, you wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he's have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look. Tannehill now, one of the option to the right side. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final battle of the fourth. Wow, wow. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. And that will complete downfield to Allen. And he'll have it. Back to throw. Throw right side is into the hands of his tight end, Everett. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter play. A running play here on a big spot here. This to potentially send us to overtime. And he missed it. It's no good. And instead of tying it up, they remain down by three. Pressure kick, and I thought he was going to hit it. I thought we were destined for overtime, but not the case. Not at all. And they were already planning for the overtime you just mentioned, already saying, okay. 
What a ball game this was. What an atmosphere this was. And the home team getting the late touchdown, getting the victory, and now everybody in this building can file away with smiles on their faces. And what do real estate people tell us all the time? It's location, location, location. So being at home, that can be a big deal because remember,